Hey there, do you remember when we added reporting to our cypress and cucumber tests? Well, I've got something extra that we can add to it. Let's go over to here and you can see right here, my tests have actually failed. Um, you can see that toggler to do feature is failing. And what we can do is from our previous uh, video, we can do npm run sci report. This will generate a report for us based on those results. Here is the link right here. Let's take that, open it in our browser, and have a look at what we have. So toggler to do status was failed. We can see that just here. Toggler to do has failed. So let's go into toggler to do. We can see that the first scenario, uh, completed to do has failed. Also, uncompleted to do failed as well. Complete all to dos and uncomplete all to dos, they both passed. So let's look at completed to do. So it says, then I see the following to dos a test to do with completed true. And that is the step that failed. We can look at the error. The error tells us that we expected to find this element with this selector here, but we never found it. So what would be really beneficial to us is if we could see the output of the Cypress test at this point uh, to possibly determine was that ele element on the screen anywhere? Were we just in the wrong place? Did we click on the wrong button? What happened? So let's go and add screenshots to our Cypress Cucumber reports. So just to be clear, I've specifically gone into our uh, to do MVC React application and broken it so that it fails at this point. So how are we going to add our screenshots to our report? Now, what we could do is we could browse to the Cypress folder, we could browse to the screenshots folder, and we could click on this file, which is a PNG file, and we could see that uh, it definitely did not complete that to do. But it would be nice if we could see it in these reports and then we could publish them somewhere, maybe when we're running them uh, through our CI CD pipeline. So let's close this. Let's get these report these screenshots into our report. And to do that, I've created this NPM module that we can use. So it's called Cypress Cucumber Attach Screenshots to Failed Steps. Things that we need to have before we start, we need to be using Cypress and Cypress Cucumber preprocessor and the multiple Cucumber HTML reporter. And we're definitely doing that. First thing we need to do is install this module as a dev dependency. So we'll copy that and drop it in here. While that's installing, we need to uh, read the instructions on how we're going to use it. So we need to put this line inside our Cypress support index file. So let's copy that line and we'll go to our Cypress support index file. Let's move this down a little bit and we can see currently we import a commands fo file and I guess just before we do that, so maybe here, we can drop in our uh, module that we're installing. So we'll save that. And then all we need to do is run our tests again. So we run our tests by npm run sci run. If we want to just double check what sci run does, if we look at our package JSON, sci run executes Cypress run. So nothing special there. That's just the regular way to run Cypress tests uh, without the uh, without the like I, the test IDE. So headless tests. I've saved this file. So let's go and run that. Now this will take a little while while the tests run. We do expect them to fail in the same way because the application is currently broken. Um, it is broken on purpose. 
But what we can do is just look into the source of this uh, NPM module. So we'll quickly go in here. And we can see that if I make that a little bit bigger for us, there we go. Um, it's looking up the screenshots folder in our Cypress config. It's checking that we're actually generating Cucumber JSON. Um, it gets the test state from the window object. This is uh, what, where Cypress puts it. And basically it, um, it runs after each scenario. So every scenario runs, the scenario will save the screenshot. We'll go and check to see if the scenario failed. If it has, we know that the file name is in this format. We'll go and read that file as base64, and then we'll attach that data, that base64 image data, onto our test result. And our reporting framework will interpret that and add it as a screenshot on our report. Okay, so our tests have run. Let's make this a bit bigger here. And we can see that the same tests have failed two failing scenarios in this feature file. Let's run our report, npm run sci report. Again, we haven't changed anything in the report generation file. It's exactly the same as the previous video where we added this. Our report has generated, so let's Go in here, copy that, open a new tab, drop it in there. Okay, so we can see, make this a bit bigger, go full screen for this one. We can see that the toggler to do feature has failed. And on the right hand side, uh, which is behind the webcam, it says two scenarios have failed. Let's click into that. We can see that the completer to do scenario failed and the uncompleted to-do scenario also failed. So we can expand our completed to-do scenario. We can see the same step failed. We can see the error, but we also have this addi additional link for a screenshot. So we can click that, and there's our screenshot attached directly to our report. It was that simple. So we use this module. That I created and shared for everyone. We installed it, we imported it into our support file, and run the run the tests. Test attached to the um, output JSON file, and then execute our report. Simple as that. Thanks for watching my video. If you're interested in any other kind of content like this please hit the subscribe button and I'll post some more videos. If you like this video, click the like button. Any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. If you need a link to any other resources, they'll be in the description. And if you want to contact me in any other way, we can use Twitter, twitter.com slash Harnett. The link will be in the description. Also, three times a week, I live code on Twitch. Sometimes we write tests like this. Sometimes we write other hobby projects. So if you want to come and hang out, chat with me on Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Dane The link is in the description as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.